Hey, thanks for click and play on this video where we're going to be talking about some of the defenses to negligence. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the topic of negligence, I would recommend checking out our uh, prior lecture where we introduced the topic of negligence and we talked about some of the important elements that need to exist for a negligence type case. So in this lecture, we're going to explore some of the defenses that can be raised in a negligence claim and examine the notable case of Liebeck versus McDonald's, which we introduced in our last video. Before we discuss the defenses, just a quick overview of the case that really uh, is the discussion and the focal point for this lecture, which is Liebeck versus McDonald's restaurants. So uh, we talked about this last time, so I'm going to keep it very brief. So in 1992, Stella Liebeck, who is a 79 year old woman, suffered some severe burns when she spilled a cup of scalding hot coffee that she purchased at a McDonald's drive through. She then subsequently filed a lawsuit against McDonald's alleging negligence in serving excessively hot coffee. So we're going to be exploring some of the defenses that McDonald's had raised in that particular case. The first defense is what is called contributory negligence. Now, this particular negligence defense is commonly raised in these types of cases and refers to a plaintiff's failure to exercise reasonable care for their own safety, thus contributing in some way to their own injuries. Now, in the case of McDonald's or Liebeck rather versus McDonald's, McDonald's argued somewhat unsuccessfully that Liebeck's own actions, such as adding cream and sugar while she was seated in a moving vehicle, constituted contributory negligence and that they should not be held liable for her subsequent damages. Another type of defense that can be raised in these sorts of cases is what's called comparative negligence. Now, comparative negligence allows the court to allocate fault between the plaintiff and the defendant to some degree, so shared responsibility, and thus determine damages in a proportionate manner to that. Now, McDonald's contended that even if they were partially at fault, that Ms. Liebeck should bear some responsibility for her injuries due to her own negligence. The third negligence defense is what is known as assumption of risk. Now, assumption of risk refers to the legal principle that if a plaintiff voluntarily engages in a known dangerous activity and is aware of those risks, they assume responsibility for any resulting harm. Now, in this case, McDonald's argued that Mrs. Liebeck was fully aware of the potential danger associated with hot coffee and willingly assumed that risk by purchasing and then handling that beverage. So now that you're a little bit familiar of some of the different defenses uh, related to negligence, let's further analyze McDonald's defense. Now, in the case of contributory negligence, this implies that if the plaintiff is even slightly at fault, they cannot recover any sort of damages. So this was certainly something that McDonald's was hoping to argue because this would then make it that they would not have to pay for any subsequent damages to Mrs. Lebeck. However, in this case also, the jury found that McDonald's was 80% at fault and Mrs. Liebeck was 20% at fault, thus allowing her to receive compensation proportionate to the remaining fault of McDonald's. So comparative negligence was at play. Regarding comparative negligence, the jury certainly acknowledged that Mrs. Liebeck had a certain degree of responsibility, but still they determined that McDonald's actions alone constituted the majority of the fault, leading to a verdict in her favor. Now, lastly, the defense of assumption of risk assumes that the plaintiff knowingly accepted the risks associated with a particular activity. In Liebeck's case, the jury concluded that while Mrs. Liebeck knew the coffee would be hot, she didn't fully comprehend the severity of the danger posed by the excessively high temperature of McDonald's coffee. As we conclude this video, I want to reiterate that the defenses to negligence, which include contributory negligence, comparative negligence, and assumption of risk, play a crucial role in determining the outcome of a case. And in the case of Liebeck versus McDonald's restaurants, while McDonald's raised these defenses, the jury ultimately found in favor of Mrs. Liebeck, recognizing the significant responsibility of the defendant. Now, understanding the defenses to negligence is very important for navigating the complexities of personal injury cases, as well as comprehending the factors that can impact the outcome. I hope you enjoyed this video and in particular the deep dive into the McDonald's case. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.